So on the cutting edge of coding agents, Claude Code is one of the most popular and they just did some updates, the 2.0 update. So today's uh, video, I thought we can just build a quick AI app, show you how fast we can do that and just go through all the changes they did in 2.0 here. So the first thing we want to start with, if we want to build an AI app in Claude Code, uh, this is of course linked to your uh, current working directory. As you can see here, we have set this to this directory here. So I'm just gonna go into this directory and let's build that app. So I just navigate into the directory. I think I call it AI app, right? I do Claude and we head into here. And yeah, this one has loaded up in our directory, perfect. So now we can start right and what I want to do first is uh, I want to use a video model for this right so I'm going to go to file AI pick uh, Kling 2.5 Pro I'm just going to click documentation I'm going to go to the API uh, I think I want to use Python this time so I'm going to grab all the documentation here right copy that and I'm going to go to my working directory do a Kling dot, oh, let's call it Kling.md, right? Paste it in. And that's basically all the documentation we need. I did a dot env here with my file API key, right? So what we can do now with Claude is just do something like this. I need a simple AI app in HTML CSS that can take a photo of me using the webcam. Store it locally. The app should also be able to send this photo using the video model Kling with a prompt. So we can read and we can tag the documentation here, right? Uh, and when the API returns the video, the app should be able to play the video, create a plan for this. Now we can do a shift tab and select plan mode. Okay, so I'm gonna run plan mode. This will create a plan and then we can execute this. So all of this was uh, already in Claude before 2.0. You can see now we have our plan here. Uh, yeah, that looks fine. Okay, so we're gonna execute on the plan. So what is new, if we look here, we can now do like a terminal refresh. We can do uh, control R plus a searchable prompt history. We can do slash usage, we can check that out. So if we go here, slash usage, right? Now you can see how much we have used. This is uh, pretty helpful if you ask me. And you can see we can toggle here, we can check status, config and usage. And you can see how we are doing on kind of our rate limits here, okay? So that is one thing we can do. We can now do something like if we see here checkpoints. We can do a double esc or rewind. We're gonna check that out later. But now let's start our app here. Execute the plan, right? I'm just gonna give the instruction. Now the Claude code that is running on the new model Sonnet 4.5. Uh, we had a look at that in the first episode of On the Edge. So this is also an upgrade I would say for 2.0. So let's execute the plan now and see what we came up with. If we are, if we wanna rewind something, we can try to do that. Okay, so that was done, right? So what we can do now is try to test this out. So if we go here, we can, yeah, I guess we can start the server first, right? On 8080. Uh, let's run our app.py, okay. So let's open up a new here, localhost. Let's do 8080, this should work, okay. So now you can see we can capture our photo. Hello, so let's do this. Okay, so we have an image. Let's do something like guy. Guy picks up the camera and starts blogging. I don't know, so now we can send this request, right? So we are sending this to the file API and now we're just gonna wait to see if we get the video back. And yeah, your generated video and here we have it. So let's see what happens when we play this now. Okay, so I guess I didn't do anything other than starting adjusting my camera. Uh, but it looks pretty good, right? And it's a very simple app to make. So uh, let's say we wanted to change up the UI here now to test out the new things from Claude Code. So do let's make the UI uh, a dark theme. Okay, so let's run that. So hopefully now we're just gonna edit the CSS and we're gonna get a dark theme here. Okay, so you can see now we made some changes to our styles.css file here. So if we go back here and refresh now, you can see, okay, we made some UI changes, uh, but still everything is kind of the same. So now let's take a look at the checkpoints and version control, right? We have already edited our code here. So what we can do now is we can do slash rewind, right? And uh, now we have some options. We can go back up to 
let's say let's make the ui and dark theme you can see we have some changes here in styles.css we have the diff here 19 and minus 9 so if i click here now i can choose between restore code and conversation restore code and only conversation so i want to store code and conversation right okay so that should be done now so if we go here and refresh you can see you should see this should go back to the previous setup perfect so that is something they added this is the checkpoints i think this is super helpful this is something we had in cursor and this is definitely gonna be something i'm gonna be using so i would say these two changes like the checkpoints and the usage is something there are other few changes of course the new model is a big upgrade one more thing before we end this is that they updated their agent sdk i actually think they renamed it so for the sub agents hooks background task and stuff we could start diving deeper into the new agent sdk here uh, but for this video we're not gonna do that you can see the cloud code sdk has been renamed to cloud agent sdk so i think we might do a video upcoming video on that see how we can create some agent here using this new framework uh, i think there are some very interesting stuff here like run long running agents and stuff uh, but so far i've been pretty happy with the update to cloud code i will definitely go check it out if you kind of switch to uh, codex or something uh, i still think the gpt5 model is a bit sharper uh, but the speed and stuff on 4.5 uh, makes it a bit more easy to use on daily stuff like making simple apps as we did today right with this simple video generator app so i would rate this as of course one of the best coding agents at the moment alongside with codex and a bunch of other that it's challenging this so we might look into those in other episodes but yeah that was cloud code 2.0 quick update on that on the edge thank you for tuning in have a great day